All right, TSLA, let's have a look at Tesla today, 1.2% move, but it's a very choppy day. During a day, it didn't do much. Close where it opened, basically. Uh, most of the move came in pre-market on this gap move. So what I'm watching from here, if I switch to daily chart, you will see this whole zone was basically distribution, 190 to all, all the way 210. And there are a lot of people who got stuck there. So right here, right now, I'm basically watching Tesla um, neutral to bearish. Stock is below its 200-day, below its 50-day, below its 20-day. But this purple line is 100-day moving average. It's above it, but even 100-day moving average in a downtrend. 50-day started curling right now. And also ultra short term for traders, uh, day traders, I would follow 5-day five day in a downtrend right now and they have earnings coming up basically next week they have earnings coming up 19th of uh, april and 21st of april we have big option expiration monthly option expiration so until then i'm not expecting too much from tesla basically i do expect tesla to be in this range until it expires a lot of money expires on this big opex and then we might see decent move. But again, anything can happen. But right here, right now, I would watch 50 day SMA as a resistance, which is 192 ish level. And then above that, $200. Uh, as a support, 177. If it loses that, we're going down to 167, 165 range. So these are the support resistance levels I'm watching for TSLA. Options wise, um, let's take a look at today's volume. There were certainly more call activity, but I cannot tell if there were a lot of naked call buyers or not, but certainly more call activity than puts. 882,000 calls were traded, 538,000 puts were traded. And if you take a look at the OPEX, uh, max pain for uh, 21st of April, 183 at the moment stock price 186 so again definitely close in this range and do basically hold nothing just go up and down and you can see how much money is about to expire there's a lot of money about to expire both on the put side and the call side and you can see uh, for 21st of uh, April it's pretty much same amount of calls and puts seems like just by looking at the graph and then also cash about to expire so that's what i'm watching for tesla that's a quick update for tsla and thanks for watching see you in the next one